it's on a local vlogger and big businessman, Ken Walker. And uh, thank you so much for joining us today, Ken. Thank you for having me. <laughs> First of all, it's a pleasure to have you back. Right. Because right? you've been here before. <laughs> yes. And the last time you were here, you, you told everyone about what it is you do. And you kind of shared a couple of the activities that you've blogged about online. But today you're sharing some places people can brewery hop. That word is so hard to say. Brewery <laughs> hop. Hop and the, the key word on hop. Since uh, yeah, hop. <laughs> like beer. <laughs> beer. Right. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Um, yeah, I, I love to brewery hop. It's a cool thing that I do. It gets me out. Instead of just bar hopping, I like to go to different breweries, try the different IPAs, certain sours. I'm kind of into a little bit of everything, so I kind of make like a little triangle throughout Columbia. Uh, I start off at Savage Ale, then I go to Columbia Craft, which is a, definitely a nice vibe there. And I kind of like all the breweries we have here because they have a second level. Right. So you can kind of overlook the city, and that's a whole vibe by itself. Then I kind of end in River Rat, because River Rat kind of is like away from the city, but you still get like city vibes. And you may see a guy on a horse, which is crazy because I've seen it like twice. It's a cowboy. <laughs> Interesting. You know, uh, next time you come, you need to send us a picture of that. We have a few pictures that Ken has shared with us. Let's start with the River Rat. So yeah. River Rat, um, I believe it's a video you sent from us, uh, yes. sent to us with you overlooking. There it is right there. Ken's <laughs> brew right there. And look, you caught the sunset, too. Yeah, I was trying to go for that whole vibe so okay. I can show you, like, the mood that I go through when I go to these breweries. So, yeah. <laughs> Listen, Ken is a professional when it comes to vlogging, okay? He even knows how to set the mood for these things, all right? Well, what are, what are some of your favorite things here at River Rat, other than the Cowboy? Uh, other than the Cowboy, River Rat actually has a more subtle crowd. Like, uh, it's so far away, but people there are, like, cheerful. You can play beanbags. It's just the environment is a lot less city, more like a uh, rural area. Mm. And then it's more of a chill. Like I said, you can watch the sunset, and that's, like, one of the best things about it. I can just sit, drink beer, not be, like, aggravated, and just enjoy my beer. Okay. Well, what about one of the other places you mentioned? Oh, yeah. So Savage Ale is like, I go there so I can have like my city vibes. I want right. to overlook the city. I want to go see like the fireplace. I want to see the concert. I want to get the whole feel of I'm in somewhere that's different. And I feel different when I go there. I feel like, okay, this is a city vibe. I can talk to people. I bring my company there. Like it's just a different vibe. So I go... When I beer hop, I actually go to different places just to get a different scenery. Right. So, yeah. Right. Absolutely. Well, Ken, thank you so much for sharing a few of these places. <laughs> Again, these are some places you can go right here in town. And, and they're local breweries, which yes. I think is amazing. You have all these different types of beers, and uh, some of them, most of them are... Locally owned, locally like locally owned. Locally owned uh, I mean, you can go there. They have food too, so right. don't, don't just think it's right. beer, but Absolutely. they have food. And then the fact that you're supporting local Columbia Absolutely. is even better. Absolutely. You like Budweiser, try things here. You might like them better. Absolutely. Uh, and one more thing I'm going to add before we wrap up here. You might have to add another brewery to this list. Ooh. Peak Drift Brewery. Uh, we've had them on the show a few times, and they're going to be opening up next year, but their production side, they're going to allow people to kind of walk around. So you might want to add that to your list, Ken. Uh, now I am. See, that now you're vlogging with me. Okay, I got absolutely, it. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. If you see it, just say, hey, Sierra suggested that to him. Well, Ken, thank you so much for joining us today. And we'll have, we actually will have all of those details to the places that Ken has recommended on our website. That's WISTV.com. Thank you. All right, awesome. We're going to have much more Soda City Live coming up after the break. But first, we'll get to our Where to Wander later on in the show. We'll also talk about an excellent event that highlights excellence. But first, we're going to hear a performance from a local cellist. 